Did you hear about the spike in dolphin deaths in the Gulf of Mexico? Yes. But is it not natural for dolphins to die in the Gulf? Yes, but the average rate of death for dolphins in the Gulf is about 2.5 per month. In the first two months of this year 82 dead dolphins, including 31 stillborn or premature calves, have been found on the shores of Mississippi and Alabama. What do the humans think is the cause of the increased dolphin deaths? Some humans think it may be the result of the BP oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. What was the BP oil disaster? In April of 2010 the BP's deep water oil well ruptured. Throughout the spring and summer at least 208 million gallons of crude oil and an estimated 500,000 tons of the gases pentane and methane were released into the Gulf of Mexico. Yes, I remember. But, if the dolphin deaths are related to the BP disaster, then would not the dolphin deaths have increased in 2010 also? That is correct. In 2010 observed dolphin deaths were 89, triple the normal amount. Let me think. I remember something else. Also, during and after the BP oil disaster, at least 1.8 million gallons of the dispersants Corexit 9527 and Corexit 9500 were applied above and below the surface by BP and the United States Coast Guard. Some scientists estimate as much as 40 million gallons of Corexit were used. What is Corexit? Corexit is a chemical solvent manufactured by the Nalco company. The purpose is to disperse the oil and hide it from the humans. Has that much Corexit ever been used on the environment before? No. What do government agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency say about this? The EPA says the long-term effects on aquatic life are unknown. What else? The EPA says that it and the Coast Guard are requiring the BP to implement a robust sampling and monitoring plan. Did you say the government is requiring the BP to sample and monitor? That is correct. That sounds like a sweet setup for the BP. The humans should feel comforted. What does the government say about the undersea application of Corexit? The EPA says it represents a novel approach to addressing the significant environmental threat posed by the spill. What else? The EPA says results to date indicate that subsea use of the Corexit is effective at reducing the amount of oil reaching the surface and can do so with the use of less Corexit than is needed when the oil does reach the surface. What does the government say about the toxicity of the crude oil and Corexit mixture? The EPA said the mixture is no more toxic than crude oil itself. Do studies support the government's claims? Not really. But, can you be more specific with your question? Sure. Have any scientists recently tracked the behavior of the oil and the Corexit in the water? Yes. What did they find? When exposed to a mixture of crude oil and Corexit, an enzyme capable of biotransforming polycyclic hydrocarbons into carcinogenic or mutagenic compounds increases up to 1200 times when in warmer water. What does that mean? The risk of negative impacts associated with exposure to chemically dispersed oil may be affected by water temperature. Did the government take this into consideration when approving the use of Corexit? No. What else have studies found? They found that the crude oil and Corexit mixture is at least 11 times more toxic than crude oil by itself. Please explain. The studies show that the combination of oil and Corexit is easily absorbed through skin. What happens when the Corexit and oil mixture is absorbed into an organism? It ruptures red blood cells, causes internal bleeding, hemorrhaging, liver and kidney damage, and allows crude oil to penetrate into cells and all organ systems. What does that mean? Solvents in the dispersants penetrate the organism, carrying the oil into the cells, and then circulates into the organs creating extreme toxicity. Corexit disrupts the cell wall membrane. What else have studies found? The dispersant mixes with the oil and becomes water-soluble, which then evaporates into the air. 
These chemicals come down as rain in addition to being in the water on the beaches, soil, wetlands, even crab, oyster and muscle tissue. Did you say the chemicals come down as rain? Yes. Have any scientists confirmed this? Yes, a scientist from NASA confirmed the chemicals' presence in clouds. Scientists say that the chemicals could be distributed by weather systems to other parts of the globe. Has Corexit been found in any inland water bodies? Yes. Corexit has been found in swimming pools, ponds and lakes. What are the ingredients of Corexit? Corexit contains propylene glycol, 2 butoxyethanol light petroleum distillates, dioctyl sodium sulfosuccinate, mononinoctadesanoidoxy-1-ethanidiol, 2-propanidiol, and 2-butoxymethylitoxypropanol. Are those chemicals safe for humans? No. Why not? 2-butoxyethanol was identified as a causal agent in the health problems experienced by cleanup workers after the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill. Where are the cleanup workers from the 1989 Exxon Valdez oil spill today? All of the cleanup workers have perished. Do scientists have any other concerns about 2-butoxyethanol? Yes. What? Many scientists believe there is no safe level of exposure. Warnings for 2-butoxyethanol include cancer hazard, 2-butoxyethanol may be a carcinogen in humans since it has been shown to cause liver cancer in animals. What else? Reproductive hazard. 2-butoxyethanol may damage a developing fetus. Let me think. A lot of the dolphin deaths have been stillbirths or premature calves. Right? Yes. And we are now entering the first dolphin birthing season since the BP oil disaster. Right? Yes. And the dolphins are at the top of the food chain. Right? Yes. So the dolphins probably consumed some seafood that had corexit in its tissue. Right? Yes. Maybe the developing dolphin fetuses were damaged by the corexit during the last 10 months. Now we are seeing the effects. Yes, that sounds likely. Okay, let me think. It is pretty clear that the Corexit and the Corexit crude oil mixture is related in some way to the spike in dolphin deaths. Correct. But that is just the dolphins. Is there any evidence that the Corexit and the Corexit oil mixture is harming the humans? Yes. Okay. Let's research that and next time we will discuss what we find.